the function of cardiovascular system in the human body is to transport blood to every single cell via a network of blood vessels. The heart, the center of the cardiovascular system, is a muscular organ whose contractions ensure a continuous flow of blood through both systemic and pulmonary circulation. The heart valves guarantee that blood only flow in one direction. The intrinsic regulatory mechanisms and the neural and hormonal influences allow the heart to adapt to the changing requirements of the body. The heart is located within the pericardium behind the sternum between the right and left lungs. It is slightly off to the left compared to the position of the mid-sternal line. An average human heart contracts about 72 times per minute, meaning that it contracts about 2.5 billion times during an average human lifespan. Anatomically, the heart consists of two parts, a right and a left heart, both of which can be further divided into two parts, the atria and the ventricles. The human heart thus has four chambers. The atria receive blood and convey it towards the ventricles, while the ventricles pump the blood out of the heart and into the arteries. Both the atria and the ventricles function simultaneously. When the atria contracts, the ventricle relaxes, and vice versa. Coronary arteries supply oxygenated blood to the heart, which is important because supplying oxygen and nutrients to the cardiac muscles is the vital for the proper functioning of the heart. An electrical conducting system enables the heart to contract rhythmically. This means that the heart does not need extrinsic neural control to generate and transmit impulses. However, it is connected to the central nervous system through its extrinsic innervations. Certain parts of the heart are separated from each other by the heart valves, which ensure that blood only flows in one direction. The left atrium is separated from the left ventricle by the bicuspid valve or mitral valve, which acts as a one-way inlet. This function is served by its two leaflets, which close tightly. The right atrium is separated from the right ventricle by the tricuspid valve, which has three leaflets. The bicuspid and tricuspid valves, which are formed from flap-like extensions of the endocardium, are connected to the papillary muscles of the ventricles by the tendinous cords, also known as heart strings. When the atria contract, the bicuspid and tricuspid valves open and blood flows into the ventricles. When the atria relax and the ventricles contract, the valve close and prevent the backflow of the blood into the atria. There are further valves called semilunar valves at the root of the great arteries that is the aorta and the pulmonary artery. When the ventricles relax, these pocket-like leaflets that forms part of the semilunar valves fill with blood returning from the large arteries. The edges of their leaflets touch each other and thus the valve close, preventing the backflow of the blood into the ventricles.